Today's global healthcare challenges are complex. The developed world is being affected in ways different from that of the developing world, and at times, this challenging tale of two worlds seems daunting. In the mature markets where the healthcare systems are well developed, uh, the real issue in healthcare today is around cost. The cost of healthcare is staggering and growing much more rapidly than GDP. Uh, for example, in the US, uh, we spend over $2.5 trillion on healthcare each year, and that has been growing at a rate two points faster than GDP growth, which is just flatly unsustainable. In the emerging markets, the issue is access to care. Uh, many emerging markets today, like Africa, par many parts of Asia, Latin America, etc., um, still lack basic access to care. Mortality rates in Africa still exceed uh, those in the mature markets by fivefold. Some of this is because of lack of bricks and mortars access, which is there aren't enough dispensaries and primary care centers. Some of these challenges are because of lack of physicians. For example, in Tanzania, you only have a couple of hundred doctors for about 30 million people. Given that there's a global trend of an increase in chronic disease uh, across the world, which is driven by um, overweight, ob ob obesity, which is linked with diabetes, uh, hypertension, um, cardiovascular disease, and as the world's population ages uh, and the costs of healthcare increase, it's a recipe for disaster in many respects. While these challenges are formidable, there are some very promising mobile healthcare solutions on the horizon. Solutions that can be applied to both worlds, and if deployed strategically, can begin to close the gap and create real opportunity in reshaping the healthcare industry. The premise of mobile healthcare is very simple. It starts with asserting that almost four-fifths of all human population Today has a mobile phone, either their own or a neighbor's or a friend's. And through this mobile phone, they can communicate in many different ways, through voice, through data, through SMS. And, and so therefore, for the first time in human history, and then almost the entire human population is connected. The vision of M Health is a vision of greater efficiencies from a cost effectiveness perspective on providing healthcare, as well as also an increase um, and improvement of patient outcomes. So by having more information presented in a timely manner, patients can better monitor and manage their, their conditions and their diseases. Alternatively, from an individual's perspective, from a patient's perspective, I think the, the dream of mHealth is very much allowing patients to take charge of their own conditions. Once you eliminate the need for the physical compresence of patient and physician, you can really access from anywhere in the world the best medical talent anywhere in the world. So mHealth is really emerging as a, you know, not a breakthrough technological-wise solution, but a breakthrough to bring, you know, health at a distance, cost efficiently, and saving governments millions of dollars while unclogging the system with unnecessary medical visits. The potential for mobile health is enormous. We uh, did some top-down estimates on a worldwide level, and the impact by application of remote health monitoring for the most common chronic conditions only would be over $200 billion per year in potential savings. So the potential of mHealth is apparent, but what does it really mean? Is it about killer apps and devices, or is there more to it? mHealth is really more than just the devices. It really is the whole ecosystem, from the infrastructure and the connectivity uh, to the applications of the devices and also the end-to-end -end solutions that are enabled from that as well. Immediately you can put sophisticated monitoring systems and services in the hands of patients themselves. And by doing so, you can push effectively your healthcare provision all the way down to the patients where it's cheap, 
um, and cost effective to do so. Uh, what we announced is actually bringing to market a um, disease management application specifically focused on uh, diabetes at first, but then moving into other chronic diseases as well. Uh, what's really cool about this application, it allows diabetics to enter their you know, important information, whether it be uh, medication or glucose levels into this mobile application, which then feeds that information into a, uh, a clinical database with algorithms that can then provide real-time feedback and coaching. At the same time, that information is also then sent to uh, clinicians, caregivers, and physicians so that they can intervene uh, when necessary as well. This drives costs out of the system as well as allows physicians to focus their efforts on the folks that need the care the most. We're looking at telestroke. If you go into a hospital uh, that has very little ability to look after someone with a stroke, neurosurgical, etc., you can connect with a center like Cleveland Clinic, which they can look at the x-rays, they can uh, determine what kind of a stroke it is, they can put you on the path to a protocol, they can say, does this patient need to come here for a surgical procedure, etc. That begins to standardize care and that begins to improve the quality of care, and that begins to take care to where the patient actually is. That's huge. The M stethoscope is short for a mobile stethoscope. And in this sense, it's turning a regular cell phone into a stethoscope using very basic technology. And this enables the fluctuations which are generated by the heart's valves as they open and close to be transduced to the microphone of the hands-free kit so that the cell phone is able then to record the heart sounds and to be able to analyze and transmit those heart sounds to a remote server. One of the things that first sold me on this was about six years ago, uh, I had went to see a first installation uh, of uh, distance medicine in Houston. And uh, I put on a stethoscope and listened to the heart of a patient and who's in pris a prisoner 300 miles away. Now, I, there's a sound called an opening snap uh, for people who have mitral valve disease. I, as a cardiac surgeon, had never heard it before, in, in truth. I heard it on a patient 300 miles away. So that, I think, is testimony to the, the fidelity of, of that device. In the Mexican example, at least about half of the population, so we're talking about 60 million people close to that, have no insurance at all neither public or private. So to have a, a doctor, whether it be on the phone, is much better than having no insurance or no doctor at all. And secondly, uh, there's a striking figure over millions and millions of calls we've done over the years. Uh, this figure really stands out that 62% of all medical first calls can be resolved on the phone. So some mHealth solutions are already clearly out there. But what else needs to happen? Who are the key players? Who wins? Who loses? And what is the timing? Mobile health will fundamentally drive cost out of the healthcare system. So all of the payers for healthcare, whether that is the government, private insurers, or in the US's case, many public and private corporations who bear much of the burden of healthcare costs today, they all win. For uh, governments and health ministries whose fundamental uh, mission is to both pay for care, right, they are the primary payers, as well as um, to be a steward on behalf of their citizens of improving the life and health of their citizens, mobile health meets both of those needs. The time is now because, differently from the past, telecom and high-tech players are looking for new sources of growth. In the past, they were uh, lucky and content of their double digit growth in their core business. Now they are really looking for new opportunities. So this is clearly one of the largest opportunities. On the other hand, healthcare systems have never been more than in these days under pressure for sustainability, so for cost reduction. And so they will have all the incentives, even under difficult political circumstances, to actually act and deploy mobile health systems to ensure sustainability of a quality healthcare system. Right now, I think the future is very, very, very promising. We're very excited. Uh, again, you know, all types of governments all over the world are having problems with medical care, medical expenditure. 
So uh, what we're talking right now is to to make a very dif- disruptive use of a very low low tech technology, which is a phone call. But if you come to think, uh, mobile or cellular phone penetration, well, it's all widespread. There's about five billion phones out there in the world. Just in Mexico, there's uh, 90 million phones. So you can't beat that. There's 90 million ways to reach people versus 20,000 clinics in Mexico. So numbers are overwhelming. So people accept that it's going to be big, but in terms of timing, uh, this is a time for innovation and value creation. And therefore, it is incredibly exciting for uh, the private players on one hand, uh, as well as the public sector players, the foundations and the governments, because they see this as a new way to solve problems with which they have been struggling for many decades. And then that's why there is a huge sense of excitement in mobile healthcare right now. I don't think that we can look after the patient's uh, population that we're currently faced with without these new technologies. I think they bring great, greater quality. I think they bring uh, our ability to reach people that we couldn't reach otherwise. Uh, and I think that they will ultimately help us decrease cost in looking after uh, patients. And so I see a, a rapid implementation of these technologies where uh, you know, a, a mobile phone now we'll be able to provide both for patients and for physicians an incredible link between the two um, with apps that help you manage your diabetes, with apps that help you uh, manage your congestive heart failure, um, with apps that tell you about your exercise and your wellness, with apps that tell you how much, uh, how many calories are in the food that you're eating, uh, with apps that help you stop smoking. All of these things will help diminish the cost and improve the quality and the health of uh, people across the world. Mobile healthcare today is at a place where the internet was in the mid-1990s. The confluence of enabling technologies, low cost to entry and high demand is already here. In a few very short years, mHealth will be an integral part of the healthcare ecosystem. Making the right moves today will shape the next wave of change for future generations.